Today I want to talk about auditing and point out just why auditing fees are so important. Most fundamental investors and commentators read the company accounts because they want to get an understanding of the company's business and then build a forecast for its future. However, most investors take those numbers at face value, assuming they've all been verified by the auditors, but give very little thought as to what exactly that means. But before we go on, I must remind you that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we're not allowed to make recommendations and none of what follows should be taken as investment advice. However, if you are considering making an investment in a listed company, we think you should think about the following. First, let's think about the appointment of the auditors. This happens at the annual general meeting and because of this a lot of people think that auditors are responsible for and report to the shareholders. Unfortunately this is why people get so upset when companies get into distress because the shareholders turn around and believe that the auditors were working on their behalf. First, we think this reflects a simple misunderstanding. Number one, it is management, not the auditor, that produces the accounts. The auditor is just required to check they obey the rules and not to check that they reflect a true and fair understanding of how the company actually operates. Moreover, it's management, not the shareholders, that really set the budget for the audit, thereby giving them serious influence over what actually happens. That identifies the real conflict of interest. The auditor is appointed by the management to verify management's work, which allows management to get paid. It's no wonder at this point that the auditor has little incentive to actually disagree with management if it can possibly be avoided. View auditors like this, and it's clear they actually have two roles. One is to stop the staff stealing from the company, but number two is to make sure that management looks good. Viewed through this lens, and you realise that actually most auditors do a good job. However, they still need to spend the time to actually check the numbers, and of course most accountants bill by the hour. So, by setting the budget, management really gets to set the tone of the audit. This is why it's so important for you as a potential shareholder to actually have a look at the audit fee. Fees that are too high suggest that there's a problem that's been undisclosed. Fees that are too low suggest that the auditor hasn't been given enough time to actually do the work. Ultimately, we think you should investigate all companies with extreme fees and think about the business situation. How is it that a company's fees might be falling when they're growing overseas with complicated overseas structures or doing lots and lots of M&A deals? We'd also suggest you look out for companies in places like Taiwan and Thailand where they don't actually disclose the audit fees. Finally, beware companies that use a relatively small auditor or companies where the auditor changes all the time. In both situations, it suggests that management is wielding far too much control over the verification of their accounts. Now, these are just some of the things that we look at. And if you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Alternatively, to keep up to date with our work, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your time.